Section 37 of One Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Wilkie Mills. One Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Section 37 Printing Presses There are three distinct classes of printing presses. Number one, the ordinary job press, which is used for the printing of cards, letterheads, billheads, and other small matter. It is run by power or by a foot treadle. Each card or piece of paper is fed into the press by hand and removed by hand. The average speed is from 1,000 to 1,200 an hour, but the most expert feeders can handle about 1,500 cards an hour, and the record is not far from 2,000. Number two, the cylinder press. This press is used for the printing of weekly newspapers, books, catalogs, and other large work. The type is placed upon a flat bed having a lateral movement, and the paper is fed by hand onto a cylinder which revolves over the moving bed. These presses have a speed of from 1,000 to 2,000 an hour, but comparatively few hand feeders can handle more than 1,500 or 1,600 sheets in an hour. Number three, the perfecting press. This press is used exclusively for the printing of large city newspapers and some books and catalogues are printed upon it. The type matter is cast into a cylinder. The paper to be printed upon stereotypes of circular form which are attached is in a continuous roll and passes between the stereotype cylinder and another roller. The paper is fed into the press automatically and is automatically folded and counted. The largest perfecting press in the world will print, fold, and count both sides of an eight-page paper at the rate of 300,000 copies an hour, but the average perfecting press does not deliver more than 75,000 copies an hour. The perfecting presses used for books, magazines, and catalogs run at a much slower speed. Production of Books in 1911, 8,183 books were produced by American authors, of which 1,024 were fiction, 917 were on theology and religion, 919 of essays and literature, 527 on hygiene, 734 juvenile, 685 of poetry and drama, 300 educational, 196 were devoted to the fine arts, and 86 to music. Public Debt of the United States The interest-bearing debt of the United States is $964,631,630, and the non-interest-bearing debt is $375,974,000, $389. The United States has issued $946,242,270 in gold certificates, $482,367,666 in silver certificates, and treasury notes to the amount of $2,846,260. At the last accounting, the United States Treasury had on hand in cash $1,564,416,169. Public Schools The public school system originated in Massachusetts and Connecticut shortly after the settlement of those states. Schools were not entirely free when originally established. 
they have now become common all over the United States, and their maintenance is required by law. Pure Food Pure food laws enacted by the United States government and by state and city governments are supposed to protect the consumer against adulterated foods. The United States law, however, has no jurisdiction over food manufactured or put out in any of the states, unless it is carried from one state to another. The local food laws have to do only with the communities covered. The present law does not appear to be sufficient to protect the public fully. The statement written on many food packages, reading, quote, Guaranteed under the Food and Drugs Act, June 30, 1906, number dash dash, close quote, must not be considered as proof positive of purity. It simply means that the contents of the package or bottle is according to the prescription or formula registered with the government and does not stand for quality or purity. Benzoate of soda and other preservatives may be legally used, providing a statement to that effect is made upon the package. Chemists differ as to the injurious effects of benzoate of soda, but it is not advocated by any eminent authority. Most of the pure food experts are opposed to its use, irrespective of any injurious effect it may have upon the consumer, because this preservative will effectively kill the odor of putrefaction and disguise the taste and smell of rotten or spoiled fruit and other products. The consumer will do well to refuse to purchase any article of food containing benzoate of soda or other preservative for first-class and healthy meat, fruit, and vegetables do not require a chemical preservative. Artificial coloring may not be injurious, as so little of it is required, but food artificially preserved may be dangerous, and very likely is impure, and may not have been fresh when canned. End of Section 37